Tim, welcome to Watch You Want, thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Panerai Luminor Chronograph PAM52 40 millimeters in brushed titanium. This PAM52 Luminor Chronograph is, like all the watches portrayed on our YouTube channel, actual inventory available in stock for immediate delivery on our retail website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like getting the latest news, views, and video reviews on our channel, well then subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now, the PAM52 is an outstanding watch in many ways because it's almost like an Italian-inspired rival to the Zenith-powered Rolex Cosmograph Daytona. 40 millimeters with a highly technical look, and of course that classic El Primero heart beating within. It's an excellent match for my 6 and a third inch 16 centimeter wrist. Now, the Luminor conventionally is a 44 millimeter watch, but traditionally the Zenith-powered Luminor models have been 40s, and for me, it's the perfect size because the proportion in relation to the dial, this beautiful bimetallic polished steel and brushed titanium bracelet, and of course, my own wrist is just ideal. The fact that it sits a little bit lower on the wrist and only 14 millimeters thick with the pronounced slope of that bezel means it's also a great candidate for wearing with a formal ensemble. If you wanted one watch, that has a sporty, rugged style, 200 meter water resistance, a rough and tumble movement inside, but can also go well with a long sleeve, a dress sleeve, a sport coat, or a blazer. The PAM52 is a great option. Now with a perfect size case, a unique dial, and a downright legendary movement on the inside. Again, the El Primero was Rolex's choice for a generation of the Daytona. This watch represents an unusual proposition from Panerai, because while Panerai watches are generally bought for the look, not so much the movement, this one gives you the iconic look of the Luminor, a distinctive and unique dial within the Panerai family, and it gives you all that horological content, the movement pedigree, that, quite frankly, a lot of other Panerai watches simply can't boast. So let's talk about each element separately. Now the first thing you'll notice is the contrast between the polished bezel and the brushed titanium case, and the contrast is dramatic. Now it's recapitulated and echoed throughout the bracelet. This is the first generation Panerai metal bracelet, and it's one, it's one that connoisseurs really love because it was discontinued at the end of the 2000s primarily because it was very expensive to make. The combination of the brushed titanium in close proximity to the polished steel made it something of a low volume piece because of the difficulty of its manufacture. But if you're buying this watch, that's to your advantage. That's not your problem, that's the factory's issue. The bottom line is that it's a rare, fine, beautiful, and incredibly comfortable piece to experience. Also artistically unique in that that form of the classic device protecting the crown the locking lever crown guard of the Panerai Luminor models from the 1950s to the present is echoed throughout the links, and you can see that echo, that echo of the crescent shape all the way down to the stainless steel double deployment clasp. Now the nice thing about this clasp is that it's robust in stainless steel, so Panerai can pare it down. Rather than making it out of titanium, it's made of steel, so they can be just as strong but on a smaller scale, and the benefit is aesthetic. Strong, yes, but also incredibly low in profile. Like the Rolex President bracelet with the crown clasp, when this one's closed, you can just barely see the partition point. It's very low profile and allows this gorgeous, unique, and discontinued bracelet, a real Paneristi fan favorite, to read as a continuous loop about the wrist. Now, I spoke of the unique status of this dial, and I'd like to unpack that a bit. Most Panerai Luminor models feature either a sandwich dial, if they're referencing the earliest 1930 Panerai combat watches, or they feature the quarter Arabics, so the 12, the 6, the 9, and the 3. Very rarely do you see the fully calibrated Arabic numerals on a dial. It's a unique look that sets any thusly endowed Luminor apart from the pack. So if you want the Panerai history and heritage and the essential profile, but you want a watch that'll stand apart from the scrum, this is a great candidate in the PAM52. Now another unique element is that it does feature what's called the Luminova sausage dial. So rather than having a stencil on top of a loomed disc, you actually have thick printed almost key lime Luminova indices and Arabic numerals around the dial. And the benefit there, A, is that it's a different look with height rather than depth. And second, it's actually a little bit brighter than the conventional sandwich dial, so it has a functional advantage as well. The contrast is a highlight here, and it's not just a contrast of color between the almost anthracite sub-registers 
and the matte black of the dial, there's also a textural contrast. Each one of these sub-registers is sunken into the dial, so they have depth, but they also have texture with a concentric circular guilloche radiating out from the pinion that's actually mounting the hands of each of the sub-registers. The dial itself, the black portion by comparison, is smooth. So a contrast in color, contrast in depth, and a contrast in texture really wakes up this dial and presents a face shared with very, very few other Panerai models. So we have just right size, an extraordinary case and bracelet, and a dial that clearly sets this watch apart. But there is the matter of the Panerai heritage and authenticity, something that all Paneristi collectors look for in the references that they venerate. Now, the Luminor is the icon of the brand. The Radiomere has its fans, and there are a few holdouts who favor the Mare Nostrum, infrequently seen. But the bottom line is the cushion case, the highly legible, simple dial, and the device protecting the crown with a locking lever are the essential elements of the Panerai Luminor identity, and the Luminor is the face of the franchise for Panerai. Now, the locking lever retains all of its function here in conjunction with chronograph pushers. This watch features all of the toughness of a conventional Panerai Luminor, and the crescent-shaped crown guard continues to provide all aspect protection for the crown. First patented in 1950, well, first deployed in 1950, patented in 1956. It remains just as viable an alternative today to the screw-down crown as it was back then. As soon as the lever is pulled, a cam releases the crown. So as you can see, I can easily wind it. I can easily pull the crown, quite simply, to adjust the time. And this gives me full access to the crown's functions for winding and setting, even when my hands are wet, when my hands are gloved, when my hands are sweaty. And that's something you can't always say of a heavily shielded, tightly screwed down, screw down, water resistant crown. So Panerai gives you the locking lever, yes, because it's a high style piece, yes, because it blocks blows against the crown, but also because it's still quite practical for the sake of on the fly adjustments. And you have the chronograph pushers for the El Primero chronograph located within. And the beast within is the other part of this watch's essential appeal. As I mentioned earlier, the Zenith El Primero movement, first released in 1969, was the world's first fully integrated, automatic, high-beat chronograph movement, and it has outlasted its contemporary rivals and continued as one of the standards of reference in the watch industry, even into the 21st century, with a 36,000 beat per hour heartbeat that's essentially what's known as 5 hertz, or 10 beats per second, it sounds like nothing else when you put it against your ears. It's got sort of a double time cadence compared to its rivals in the industry, and that allows it to resolve increments down to one-tenth of a second, whereas virtually all other chronographs are limited to one-eighth of a second, and some even less. Unique in 1969, it remains one of the most unusual, but also one of the most respected, robust, and aura-endowed calibers of the modern era, because not only is it high beat, but having been featured as the power plant of the Rolex Daytona from 1988 to 2000, Rolex essentially admitted that when it wanted to get serious about its Cosmograph Daytona, it could do no better than the El Primero, and it spent the better part of a generation trying to figure out how to design a movement in-house to compete with it. Not just a high beat movement, it also has a superior power reserve of 52 hours, so if the industry average is approximately 42 hours, the El Primero gives you more, much more, and that in spite of its higher beat and potentially higher accuracy. And that accuracy bears mentioning because this example of the El Primero, the Caliber 400Z, is actually COSC certified by Panerai. Now Rolex used this movement, but they detuned it down to 28,800 vibrations per hour. So the watch lost some of its identity, some of its soul in Cosmograph Daytona form. Now, the El Primero in the Luminor Chrono PAM52 regains, as I said, its double time cadence and it retains the COSC certification, generally only found in the Rolex Daytona. There were a few chronograph uh, models from Zenith that were COSC certified, but very, very few. Essentially, if you want a chronometer grade El Primero, you either want a Daytona or you want one of these Panerai Luminor models with the El Primero. Why not get the high beat El Primero with the COSC in this PAM52? It's kind of the best of both worlds, or the best of three worlds, El Primero, COSC, and the Panerai Mystique. Now this watch, again, 200 meter water resistant, is just as robust and as durable as any Daytona. What it has that the Daytona doesn't is the inextricable link to the Panerai combat watch history, and of course, 
that double time heartbeat. You can hear it for yourself if you decide that this is the watch you want, and you can see it for yourself and maybe even take it home on our website, watchyouwant.com.